Low. What is something you can do that everyone else sees as a superpower? Music dictation. I can notate any unfamiliar music heard, no matter how complex, whether vocal, instrumental, symphonic, etc. It helps that I have perfect pitch wedded to years of ear training. I can cut onions without crying. I understand the different crying sounds of my baby. As a man I get kudos for it. As a hobbyist audio engineer I just hear different cries and have learned what each one is for. Functioning for weeks on three hours of sleep a night. One guy was so impressed it was hilarious. Please please don't do this. It's not a superpower. I'm just an idiot. I can take insults, harsh criticism and not be phased by any of it. Dot not sure if this counts but there's that. I can fold a fitted sheet into a perfect little square. Which? Got straight A's without studying because of having an eidetic aka photographic memory. I was consistently the highest scoring student in my classes without much effort since I could review and replay the lessons in my head step by step like interactive videos a la Blu-ray style. Unfair advantage, I know. I've got a photographic memory as well but holy shit. I remember some important parts from classes but I can't play it like a video. It's only for short-term use and when the material actually interests me. Only wish I was half as good at understanding and remembering song lyrics lol. My brother took one look at me while he was still at the front door and told me I was pregnant. I didn't even know yet myself. I was only two weeks, as it turned out. Plot twist. He was the father. Lol, absolutely not. Not necessarily a superpower more like a curse but I often injure myself in the stupidest ways. Here's a few examples. Burnt my nose on a flaming marshmallow. Hairline fracture in my big toe after falling off a chin-up bar. Gave myself a black eye running into a pole. Gave myself a bruise the size of my fist from the hookup part of a trailer. Put a disc in my spine out alignment so bad I could barely change positions without it hurting and it took three chiropractor visits to fix it. Got a cut on my temple that needed stitches after cutting it open on an oval-shaped coffee table, wouldn't I believe? Note, all the injuries were done by myself to myself and these are just the most memorable, ridiculous ones. I don't get bored, I could be at home in solitude for days and be fine. I read very, very quickly. I finish most books in a couple of hours. It's an annoyance rather than a boom, though because I can't help it and I love to read. So I'm stuck looking for a new book every day. Also, anyone who finds out uses me as a screening service for any book they're thinking of reading. Do you think about a story or you just read? Can you remember what is text about if you read so quick? I do think about it. And I remember details well too. It doesn't feel like I'm reading quickly at all. People have asked me that before. I'd say it feels like I split my brain when I read one part takes everything in and the other extrapolates. When I was younger I could actually read a book while playing chess or writing a paper simultaneously. But then I didn't remember the book as well. I always know which way is north. I also know what time it is plus or minus one minute. That first one is super interesting. Have you ever investigated how it works? Can you feel magnetic fields? I haven't had too many unconscious but peaceful episodes to test it out on. I tend to think of it as a low priority background thread which is constantly running, thinking about what the map looks like, and remembering. I was pretty good when my friends spun me around, but I think that's just cause I was keeping track of the rotations. If I can feel magnetic fields, it's not on a conscious level. Fall from up high without even getting a hairline fracture while drunk. Also I appear to teleport while drunk. According to some sources, I could wake up somewhere with absolutely no possible explanation as to how I had gotten there in the first place. This happens often, unfortunately. Just last week I ended up in a shed that was locked from the outside, and there were no windows that I could have climbed through. It sound right, boys.